my name is Peter Eckersley. I'm a senior staff technologist at the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation is a digital civil liberties organization that exists to protect people's privacy and security on the internet. Secure websites can be identified by the fact that they use HTTPS URLs rather than simple HTTP URLs. Uh, Unfortunately, there are a number of structural problems with HTTPS that we will need to fix in order to make sure that it really delivers the security that it promises. So DNSSEC is one of the missing pieces that we're going to need to deploy in order to move from the current HTTPS uh, encrypted web, which has a number of structural problems, to a more secure system perhaps by 2012, 2013, uh, where Currently, we have these problems where it's actually pretty easy for hackers to impersonate HTTPS websites. Not very easy, but certainly doable. Uh, and we need to stop that from happening. One of the proposed mechanisms for making HTTPS more secure is a thing called an EV, or Extended Validation Certificate. And with one of these certificates, you're, you'll see at your address bar in your web browser go green rather than blue. The problem with Extended Validation Certificates is that they don't make it impossible for attackers to get some other non-EV certificate and use that in their attack. In other words, the ba a bank or some other high security site can have gone out and purchased a very expensive uh, EV certificate, but that doesn't mean that attacks can't be conducted with much lower security non-EV certificates, and users are very unlikely to spot the difference. Um, those attacks will look like a secure website, they'll look like the bank, but it will be the bad guy. So DNSSEC is one of the mechanisms that will be available to help offer a second line of defense against these kinds of attacks on HTTPS. It probably won't be a magic bullet, but it's one of the important steps that will need to be taken over the next few years to move from somewhat secure HTTPS to genuinely secure HTTPS.